My friend and fellow YouTube creator, Nash Rathbone, sent me this footprint wrench. At some point, the original pivot pin was replaced with a hex bolt. My first step was to soak the parts in evaporust. Here's how the parts looked after an overnight soak and rinse with water. The footprint logo was in great shape. There were some rough grind marks around the fixed draw rivets. The movable jaw had some deep pitting or maybe forging imperfections. I decided to try one of Scoutcrafter's belt sander techniques. I used a folded up paper towel behind the sanding belt to conform to the concave shape of the wrench jaw. I found Scoutcrafter's method worked well. I also used his wood stick technique to sand the flat areas of the tool. I was able to get the wrench looking pretty respectable with the belt sander. I touched up the teeth on the jaws with a small file. I used my Scotch-Brite discs to blend out any sandy marks. And of course, I went over the whole wrench with the flits. The threads on the pivot pin were 1 quarter 26 British. Since this is not a common size in the US, I decided to modify the hex nut to look more like the original pivot pin. This is a close up of what the original pin would have looked like. I used my drill press and my angle grinder to turn down the OD on some small washers. I made sort of a flux, solder, and washer layer cake. And I cooked it with my propane torch. Here's the bolt and washers after soldering. I chucked the bolt up in my drill press and used a small file to shape the washers. I used my hand drill and belt sander to turn down the hex head. I used a small file to add grooves to simulate knurling. Okay, I want to go back to what this wrench looked like when I got it. Check out how she looks now. I wasn't able to remove all of the scratches and pitting, but I was able to get a near mirror finish without losing the maker's marks. I am really happy with how the pivot pin turned out. I think it looks more like the original pivot pin than the hex bolt did. The footprint brand dates back to 1875 in Sheffield, England. Thomas Ellen got the idea for the brand and logo from Daniel Defoe's novel Robinson Crusoe. There was an illustration in the book depicting Caruso finding Friday's footprint in the sand. Apparently Thomas Ellen wrote possible trademark in the margin of his copy. 
This wrench was marketed as a nut or pipe wrench. Let's see how it performs. This is some 3 8 inch brass pipe. The wrench grips very securely. This is a half inch hex nut with a nylon thread locker. The wrench gripped the flats well without slipping. This is a cool little wrench. I really dig the Footprint logo. Footprint is still in business today and offers a wrench very similar to the original design. Thanks to Nash Rathbone for sending this wrench from all the way across the pond. Check out his channel for more Footprint wrench videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I just reached 3,000 subscribers. This is amazing to me considering I had less than 1,000 subscribers just one year ago. So thank you to all of my subscribers.